Welcome to our Julia programming tutorial. Today, we're tackling a question that many developers encounter when working with the PyPlot library. Our viewer is curious about the correct way to unzip arrays in Julia for plotting scatter graphs. They mentioned that the scatter function requires separate arrays for X and Y coordinates, which can be a bit inconvenient when you have a set of points stored as tuples. Let's dive into the details and explore how we can streamline this process in Julia. Welcome back to another tech video. Today we're going to be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution for you. Guys, remember to stay a little bit crazy like me and find that resolution. Now, let's continue on. In Julia, when working with arrays of coordinates, we can use the unzip technique to separate X and Y values. Let's start by defining our array of points. To unzip the coordinates, we can use the iterators module. This allows us to separate the X and Y values in a more elegant way. Now that we have our X and Y values separated, we can easily pass them to the scatter function. Here's how you can do it in one line. This approach is not only concise, but also leverages Julia's powerful iterator capabilities, making your code cleaner and more functional. In summary, by using the iterators.unzip function, we can efficiently extract X and Y coordinates from an array of tuples, making plotting straightforward. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. In Julia, there are three effective ways to zip and unzip arrays. The first approach uses the scatter function with zip, which is quite functional. The second method involves horizontal concatenation with hcat, making it easier to analyze the data. Note that the at views macro is optional, but requires Julia version 0.6. Finally, the third approach is the simplest to understand, using list comprehensions to extract elements from the array. And that's it guys. I hope the video helped find that resolution you were looking for. And you know, if it did, please, I appreciate it if you could hit subscribe. Until next time, guys, that you need more technical help, I hope you have a good one. Cheers.